Hello YouTube and welcome to Mutant Tier Zero Road to Eden. I have gotten this game just yesterday. Thank you very much developers for the preview code. And uh, I will be doing a let's play. I did a brief test yesterday to see how it's running and everything and I like it a lot. So let's talk a little bit first what it is. Uh, Mutant Year Zero Road to Eden is an XCOM alike with real-time stealth and exploration mechanics with also a tactical battles when the fight comes. So, um, it's basically a real-time stealth and exploration of post-human world recently reclaimed by nature and mutants. Uh, the premise, as described on Steam, of course the world ends, it was just a question of time, extreme climate change, global economic crisis, a lethal pandemic, increasing the tension between all the new superpowers, etc, etc. So, human race has extinguished itself and the mutants are taking over. Um, I need to say, I love this game, I've played it a little bit and it features a duck with an attitude and a wild boar with anger management issues, so apart from that it plays like XCOM 2, so let's go straight into the new game. I'm gonna be choosing, um, you can have normal difficulty, uh, hard or very hard. I'm thinking uh, I'm gonna go with probably hard. And I'm not gonna go on the Iron Mutant. You have some experience with tactical games that I do. Enemies deal more damage. Stalkers regenerate 50% and skill cooldowns are not reset after combat. All health, 50%. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that one. All right. Another day, another mission, risking our necks for the Ark. You know, I ask myself, Ducks, why are you out here? And you know why. The Ark's water pump is broken again, and Hammond said he needs more scrap to fix it. Yeah, well, we'd do it a lot better if he'd sent us somewhere with actual scrap to find. Why do you have to be so annoying? Come on. We gotta head back before prep closes for the night. All right. So as you can see, the game looks kind of beautiful, and I you can, this is the real time interface, which I can use to move my trust me, I'm guys not annoying. Around. Shut the hell up. Want to see annoying? I can show you annoying. What's wrong with you? We're in the zone. Keep your eyes open and... Mouth shut. Yeah, you only told me that 9,000 times already, Foreman. Like I said, duck with an attitude and a wild boar with anger management issues. Alright. Oh. We got ourselves some scrap metal, Borman. This is worth a lot of grog back at the Ark. Ooh, nice scrap metal. I really like how the models are done. It looks really awesome. The air stinks like mutants. Not just any mutants. Stalkers. Tight muscles. Good meat. I smell it too. Where there's stalkers, there's Ark. Where there's Ark, there's... Killing time for Skizzix and Treble. Around. They're close, 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 close. Over there. Come, brother. I'm on their trail. Okay, so now we're gonna go into the tactical battle. I'm just gonna try and find a good position to ambush them one by one. So you choose the tactical engagement here. So let's go here, wait until he comes, and then ambush. All right. Combat is turn-based, each stacker gets two action points per turn. Now we come to the XCOM-like part of the game, and I must say I'm liking it. Some actions such as shooting, throwing, or sprinting will end your turn once used. Alright. Good tutorial overall. 
so let's see um, if I come here we'll alert a new unit I have a 75% shot here 75% here 75 and here I will alert them but I will have a hundred percent shot which is always a welcome so let's rotate this a little bit I think I'm gonna stick with this guy so I'm gonna move here and uh, I'm gonna use my crossbow see if I can manage to shoot this guy fire at weapon oh straight in the face awesome okay so and as you can see now i can again choose to ambush because now we're back to the real time interface so hey let's guys, regroup it was handy that i split them up so that i could actually tackle that now let's see what we're gonna go to this side of this marauder if we had alerted him, then we wouldn't be able to do that. Low cover grants a 25% defense bonus, while full cover 75% bonus. Flanking will cancel its defensive bonus. Okay, got it. Thanks for that. I'm gonna start... Let's see if we can take him out quietly. We'll alert, we'll alert. This won't alert him. Okie doke. Let's fire the weapon. Straight in the face. Another one bites the ducks. <laughs> Another guys, one bites the ducks. Never seen ghouls this far south before. They're getting closer to the ark every day. Ooh, broiler. So you see, this is a weapon mod. So weapon mods can actually be uh, upgrade weapons in Delta's workshop so we can actually use it to mod our guns to make them more effective. So let's investigate this bird. It's a. It's a. We saw one of these things once. Filled with zone dogs, right? Oof. The ancients sure knew how to build big pieces of garbage. Let's see. Do we have anything specific here? Oh, scrap. Yes, please. Really looks beautiful, I must say. Any chance to go around this? Yes, there is. Perfect. Hey, Borman, where are you going? Okay, that way is the Ark. So we should be returning to the Ark anyways. We got some scrap, which is nice. Let's turn on the light. Then we can go a little bit faster. Hide. I think I see old tool scrap. Perfect. I love the way the nature is implemented. I think I'm going to be spending a lot of time in this game. We got ourselves some ghouls. One of them looks like he ate a ghoul. Better get into ninja mode. Listen, turn off your flashlight. If we sneak by the water, they won't see us. Ah, okay, so this is a part of tutorial on sneaking. Red Skulls. Enemies with Red Skulls is too high level for your team and will kill you. Okay, so Red Skulls, bad. Got it. Turning off the light. And let's sneak. I will rip up their tiny stoker arms and beat their faces till they die. Faces too ugly to beat. No one loves a stoker. Give me the stokers. Okay, little less enthusiasm. All right. Now we can turn on the light and we have crossed the map. So there's a, as you can see, this is an overall map and uh, their maps are linked together until we come to the arc. It's an interesting take on the XCOM genre, I must tell you that. And walking around gives a sense of tension. The arc's up ahead. Home, sweet home. Oh, I'm gonna kiss that elevator when I see it. Get upstairs, take a bath, get a grog with the boys. Get another grog with the boys. Foot massage. Oh, it's gonna be great. 
Okay, Doc waiting for a foot massage. That's a first. The campsite. Looks like the family lived here. Scrap. Lived here and died here. Nothing like a bunch of skeletons to put your mind at ease. Oh, healing. You can use medkit at any time to heal your stalkers in an inventory. Okay, yeah. Healing outside of combat always refills you to full health. Good to know. Thank you. These tutorials are actually quite nicely implemented and I must say I'm really impressed what I'm seeing right now. Oh, a bathtub. There's a cabin up ahead. Definitely feel a ghoul vibe coming off of it. So we run in? Guns blazing? Too dangerous. If we're sneaky, we can get into a good position. A good position keeps us alive. Turn off your flashlight. Mm hmm All right. Sneaking. If you're undetected, you can scoop out enemy position and kill isolated weak enemies using your silent weapons. Then they can tip the balance of fight in your favor by reducing your overall enemy numbers. Sure. Turned off the flashlight. Got it. Oh, common scrap. Don't mind if I do. Okay, so let's see how we can sneak up on these guys. Hungry, hungry. I guess we take the ark. Taste the mutants. <laughs> Love me some mutants. There <laughs> we go. Rip their hearts. Crush their. Hey, hey. You hear that? He talks a lot. You hear that noise? I hear my stomach. Hungry. Kill. Oh, there is another butcher. See, good that we. I would like to isolate one of them at least, if I can. Let's see if I can sneak him out first. Let's see if we snuff this guy out first. I think we could. Seems like a proper way to do it. Okay, going into the tactical mode. So if I come out here, 100% deal. Now ninja him there you go nighty night nighty night okay we're back level up when your stalker team level up each mutant gets at mutation points mutation points can be used to unlock powerful combat mutations or improve your stalker stats as set health and movement range sounds about great so um borman over here Regroup. Now let's do new mutations or I will be the C. Okay, mutations are major, minor or passive, only one of each can be set in your loadout. Stat bonus are permanent, always applied to your regardless of the loadout. Okay. Loadouts can be changed in inventory at any time outside of combat. Okay doc. Now uh, first of all I think I'm gonna go pretty boring with the health booster for Borman Borman and for our ducky we could do the skull splitter enhanced critical chance allows you to pop the head of enemy easily popping the boils on Borman's back this wild behavior will cost you some accuracy I'm gonna go with this one skull splitter perfect all right, now. Well, the way I see it, we take this one, the second one will be alerted for sure. So, how do we do it? I have a theory. Let's ambush them. So if I come here, I will alert a new unit. What about from here? 75, 75. From here I won't do anything, so ducks. Mm -hmm. Hunter versus Marauder. Marauder you should be Yeah. Can I switch person home? Okay. So you, Sunshine, if you come here, you will alert. Then 
crap, then you do the Marauder, please, or, yeah, I think you should do the Marauder. Perfect. Serves you right. There we go. Enemy heard me. I never expected otherwise. I move here. Q to rotate the camera. Aha, uh -huh. so Q is basically okay. Okay, Borman, can you get the hunter please? He still survived, which is unfortunate. Dang it. Okay, doke. Now, uh, Borman, tell you what. You know what you should do. 75, good chance. Bye bye. Got you. Sweet. You wasted him. Yep. He wasted him. And you got another level up. Perfect. So let's see what we can do. We can do the health booster. Perfect. All right. So hey guys, come here. Regroup. Let's do some looting now. Scrap hand grenade. Wonderful. Boombox. Artifact collected. Use artifact points to buy upgrades on the arc. Look at this beauty. My the ancients level. left a lot of ugly junk behind, but once in a while you see Ooh. something like this. Broken what, gun. What weapon parts? Are for. I wouldn't touch it if I were you. I'm not kidding around. The What's up your butt? That's a bomb, all right. They used to call it a boom box. Touch that red button, and it goes boom. Don't be pretending you know what any of this crap is. We'll bring it back to the Ark and show it to Prip. Ask him what it's worth on the black market. Oh, broken gun. Weapon parts, thank you. Travel. Perfect. Of course the world ends. You did it to us. When the ice melted, you said nothing. When the plague spread, you did nothing. When the nukes dropped, you became nothing. At least that's what the Elder says. But cheer up. You'll be happy to know that despite your mistakes... his last outpost along the island in an ocean of chaos within these walls we help each other create a new civilization on the ruins of the old one with the guidance of our leader the elder the elder tells us we're safe as long as we never leave because outside these walls lies the zone the never ending wasteland Mass graves spanning the planet, littered with your crumbling monuments to your hubris and arrogance. What the Elder chooses not to tell us is our food and water supplies are running dangerously low. That's why he relies on stalkers, adventurers who leave the Ark, explore the zone and scavenge for precious resources. Stalkers are tough enough to resist the rot and they got the smarts and the firepower to keep the zone ghouls at bay. Stalkers have to be more than human. That's me, Mr. More Than Human, a.k.a. a mutant. I look weird to you, but hey, you look weird to me. So let's leave it at that. If the Stalkers come back from the zone alive, the Ark survives another day. If the Stalkers don't come back, the legacy of mankind will be lost forever. At least... That's what the Elder says.
very nice tutorial, a very nice intro, loving it so far. Just check one thing. Options, media. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Okay. No worries. Let's continue. Yete boy. Oh, are we in Sweden? Ha! <laughs> Go figure. In that case this should have this should be a Volvo. Common scrap. I will take scrap. Anything else? Whoa. Whoa, hold up. Got two ghouls hiding over there. I think they want to hitch a ride on our elevator. Forget that. Let's sneak around and see if there's any others. can always go around here I guess oh, there's something shiny there pick up note it's crying shame this to barter so here the working spark machine lies east of the iron serpent scrap ruins historical flora okay seems to be a rather big fight scene molotov Oh, I'll take that gladly. Valuable scrap, yes, and open chest. Snazzy visor, 25% added to the weapon range. Take items, yes, thank you. This was actually well worth visiting. Oh, another piece of scrap, yes, please. All tool scrap. Marauder, I think I see him. Let's go around. Oh, there's another. Hmm. I thought I saw, I saw another piece of scrap. Which I'm gonna pick just when this guy get, goes away. Hopefully. Broken gun, yes. Good. I'll let him be for the time being. I f I'm feeling like particularly charitable these days. East outpost, alright. I think the name of the game here is Pick Your Fights. Quite literally. Travel. There we go. We get in. And we get to the Ark. The Elder meets us at the elevator. He says he doesn't have a second to lose. The mission's too important. Our mission, he says, is a man. And that man is Hammond. Everyone in the Ark knows Hammond, respects him. He's our lead, gearhead, going farther into the zone than anybody else, bringing back the machines that help us survive. He knows how to keep those machines running, how to fix them when they fall apart. Hammond keeps the Ark's heart beating. The Elder says three nights ago Hammond took his team of stalkers and headed north, not telling anyone why. They haven't come back. I've never seen the Elder this shaken before. It scares me. He tells us Hammond has a remote cabin in the north that could yield some clues to his location. Me and Ducks never patrolled that far before. But the Elder says he has faith in us. He believes in us. So, this mission we accept. Go to Hammond's cabin, search for clues, then find Hammond and bring him back alive. 
The fate of the Ark depends on it. For the time being, I'm leaving intros. I think it's kind of cool. So, add special abilities to your weapon, meditation weapon, mold, you also add the delta speed. So, as you can see, we are now at the Ark. So we have a couple of options. We have, can go to the Elder, Crypt's Place, Delta's Fix Pit, Iridia's Shop, and the Zone, of course, down. So, let's go and first visit the Elder. My home will always be a haven to you, brave stalkers. After your journeys, pay me a visit, and I'll offer you some guidance, perhaps a story, to help you become wise and strong. All right. <laughs> Thank you for letting this old man ramble. Go in peace, stalkers. Well, better go in peace than go in pieces. All right, now let's go to the bar. After a killer day in the zone, you know you can always come to Prips for some high-quality grog. You want to get loaded? Order a shot. No butane, no bleach, only natural ingredients. I also dabble in a little uh, antiquity trading. So if you find any cool artifacts out in the wasteland, bring them to me and I might give you something in return. Come from there. All right, and I think we have one artifact point because we got that boom box. So, extended clue bleed out, new unlocks extra grenade slot or deal maker twenty percent discount in Iridia's shop. Uh, extra grenade slot per member sounds rather good. I'm gonna go with that one. Thank you. Cheers. Then let's go to the fix pit to see what we can do with the weapons. Wanna know how this goes down? For the right price, I fix and upgrade your shitty gear. Any questions? Guess not. Um, okay. So, this one is obviously silent of all the weapons that I have. So I want to upgrade that first. Damage modules. One additional critical and 50% chance to burn. This trusty crow is silent and quite deadly. The only caveat is that it can only hold one bolt at a time, making reload a chore. Confiscated from a ghoul who was foolish enough to try and sneak into the Ark. Chronicle Ella, Eli. Okay, I'm gonna be putting that one. Nice. Upgrades. I don't have enough weapon points yet. Can I upgrade something else? I don't think so. What about a gun? Oh, those are already level 2. So they do a pretty nice amount of damage. Uh, slightly less, and the scatter gun does the most. Alright. Take it easy. So much about the fixed pit, and let's check the Iridia shop. You know the drill. Stalkers want gear that keeps them alive. I, Iridia, provide the gear. See anything you like, just let me know. There is one rule. Don't ever, ever pull my chain. If you pull my chain, I'll feed your ding-dongs to a zone wolf. Got that? Beautiful. Happy shopping. <laughs> She's funny. All right, so we got a bunch of uh, scrap, but we don't have... What was this? Smoke grenade. Med kit. That could be useful. And this is a pipe gun. And um, I'm gonna go with med kit. You know. Okay. We have four med kits. That should last us a while. Alright. Bye now. Bye now. Right, guys, so I think this is the perfect place to cut the, this episode. Do like if you liked the episode, you know what to do. Hit subscribe, uh, connect with me on social networks. I will for sure be continuing this Let's Play because this game is amazing, let's face it. And um, yeah, 
so hang around for that next episode click subscribe click that little notification bell so you get notified when a new episode is up and i'll see you all in the next one thank you very much for watching this is Gromfrox signing off